Donald Trump Jr., and Kimberly Guilfoyle pose for selfies after he slammed racist article about her. It looks like Donald Trump Jr. and Fox News host Kimberly Guilfoyle have made it official that they're dating. The pair posed for loving selfies just three months after his split from wife Vanessa. Donald Trump Jr. has seemed to have made his new lady love Kimberly Guilfoyle official, posing together for romantic selfies. The 40-year-old first son and the 49-year-old Fox News host have been rumored to be an item after his split from wife Vanessa was announced in March. The pair are seen cuddling up together in selfies, all smiles while Kimberly is wearing a low-cut yellow dress, while Don has his arm locked around her waist. The pair has reportedly been having sexy sleepovers at her Nick apartment, where Junior allegedly snuck in on foot with his overnight bag on June 11. There were two big Secret Service protection SUVs sitting outside Kimberly's place, a dead giveaway that something was going on with Don and the gorgeous brunette. Dot on the same day that the photos were made public on June 14, Vanessa actually came to the defense of her estranged husband's relationship with the attorney turned journalist and confirmed they are dating. She retweeted Don's post, where he wrote liberal privilege at its finest, absurd call for Fox News to fire Kimberly Guilfoyle over Don Jr. Romance ignores history of media politics relations, along with a story link. Mother of five Vanessa then said the lengths people will go to attack a woman simply because she's dating Don. We've been separated for over nine months and respect each other's decisions and privacy. We'll focus on raising our great kids. Would be nice if the press did the same rather than obsess over our private lives. Dot Don went off on a New York Daily News column on June 13 by writer Linda Stasi where she called half Puerto Rican Kimberly an otherwise brilliant woman, but when it comes to picking men, she'd be better picking off grapes seemingly appearing to refer to Latino farm workers. Don fired back on Twitter that how did this get past her editors at the Adnadela News? Do they condone this kind of talk? I guess hypocrisy, sexism and racist rhetoric are alive and well there. Linda has since sort of apologized, tweeting, absolutely no idea. That Kimberly Guilfoyle is half Puerto Rican, and my column was in no way meant as a slur. Nonetheless I will change that reference online.